revenue in the most recent quarter, the fourth quarter, $22.1 billion. The street, on average, is looking for 20.41, so a beat on the revenue side here. Uh, gross margins in the quarter, wow. 76.7 percent. That was their adjusted gross margin in the fourth quarter, a beat uh, versus what the street was looking for for 75.4. Data center revenue in the quarter also beat 18.4 billion. The street was looking for 17.2 billion. Gaming revenue also a beat. Automotive revenue also a beat here as well. Here's your forecast going forward. For the first quarter, the company says revenue will come in at about $24 billion plus or minus 2 percent. The street, on average, was looking for 21.9. So we'll just round that up to about $22 billion here. So it looks, uh, Gina Martin Adams, like uh, at least on some of the main metrics here, they did appear to beat here, but not by a huge margin. And you're seeing that maybe reflected in the stock market reaction. Yeah, though I'd say you know down two percent looks like a light day for Nvidia as of late. <laughs> Nonetheless, it does appear that you know they had great numbers across the board as far as I can tell. I'm curious what Kunjin thinks, but. Uh, it looks like they had pretty great numbers. It just wasn't quite enough to sustain what had been a really high flying stock price. And Kujan, maybe you can weigh in here. I know you haven't had a whole lot of time uh, to look at this, but I think what jumps out at me is not just the revenue growth. I mean, a company that, let's face it, had about half this revenue just three quarters ago, but also gross margins. I mean, that's insane. 77 percent gross margins. I mean, what, what, where is that coming from? Yeah, and it's really reflected in driving from the data center business. Look, NVIDIA right now is not selling chips, it's selling data center systems mm -hmm. and is enjoying gross margins as high as a software company. So they have a lot of pricing power. Um, another thing is as their H200s continue to ramp and become a larger portion of their GPU penetration, that is really also helping them with their ASP. So again, everything is going their way. In fact, in the, we expect the B100 to be announced soon, and that will again be a tailwind to gross margins for the rest of the year. What do you think, Kunjin? What does this mean for the rest of the, the space? I mean, you've got super micro computer now down 4% post market after these NVIDIA results. What do you think the read through is for the rest of the space after these results? I think the read through is really positive and it, it should ease some of the concerns that some folks are having whether the AI rally can continue in 24. You know, the upside, even though less than 10 percent, but still validates that a supply is coming on better as planned. But more importantly, that the demand strength is there. And like I said, again, I would like to hear more on the demand from the enterprise side when it comes to AI spending, and because that should signal for the entire space that the AI rally is at least going to continue. All right, Kujan Sabani uh, over at Bloomberg Intelligence. Uh, really love having him here to get that instant reaction and analysis to these numbers.